Let me first of all say that my uh, guys around Pastor Ayo came with Reverend. Let's appreciate Pastor Ayo Lude, the, one of the pastors of Restoration Bible Church. That is under Reverend in Ibadan, Abeokuta, and Lagos. And we, we appreciate you, sir. Pastor, you actually handed over to me at the Joint Christian Fellowship BY. 2004 or five, I can't remember. Reverend came to UI. In one session, I think we recorded about 140 miracles. I think I said that in the morning. Now, it's one thing for somebody to come from nowhere and claim that I was healed in that meeting. But when your classmates, people that you've known all your life, at least four years of the same course, and then you've known the ailments with them and it disappeared in one minute. This evening, we are so privileged to have one of God's generals. Shintok was saying that Pastor Lai is as if people know Reverend more in Europe than Nigeria. He said it's as if God has given him the key of Europe. <laughs> and or the key to Europe. And actually, I think so, because I've seen a few clips uh, about his ministry over there. It's a great, if not for COVID, probably Reverend wouldn't be here because it's always all over the world. But uh, even COVID has some advantages. At least some, 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 some few ones. So this is one of the fringe benefits of COVID. And tonight, we are so honored to have this man of God in our midst. Shall we rise together tonight, all the way from the city of Kaduna, the senior pastor of Restoration Bible Church worldwide. Let's welcome together Reverend Tunde Volanta. We honor you, sir. Can you make it louder, please? Somebody shout a big hallelujah. Let's give Jesus a shout of hallelujah. I just sense we could just start praying for people, but I'd like to share the word first. Amen. I would like to thank my hosts today for just this invite. It's beautiful to come. My first time here. <laughs> Pastor Shola and Abigail Oshumakinde, it's really an honor to be here with you. I think I ran, or we ran into each other in Frankfurt a few years ago, but it just didn't work out. So, but here we are. Amen. Lift your hands and just thank God. Just thank Him. He knows your name. He knows you're here. And He's already moving. I already see the moving of the Spirit. He's already moving. What is that thing you came with? You can begin to thank Him. I'm going to bring a short word so you can have a lot of time for ministry. But just lift your hands and thank Him. Tell him, Lord, I'm thanking you for this. I'm thanking you for that. Thank you for this healing. I'm thanking you for the other one. Give him glory. While I was, you know, you never know why God sends you to places. All right, Father, I just thank you as always. Thank you for being here with us. Unto you shall the gathering of your people be. As always, Father God, I give you all praise and honor. For all that will be said and done here today. For thine is the power, the honor, and glory. In Jesus' name. You never know why God sends you to places. I went to a little church in our city. And as I walked in there, the Lord sent, directed me to one lady. And I had a little vision. I saw her boy, her son, walk out of the house. And I saw her son walk back into the house. And the Lord said, say to her, that boy is going to return. Well, I thought, there's nothing special about that. Well, she began to throw chairs and run around. Long story short, that boy had been abducted, kidnapped. And by the time the boy got back, don't worry, it just pops out like that sometimes. By the time the boy got back, he had been gone for four and a half years. God knows your name, 
and all you need to do is just say, Father, have your way in my life. While I was sitting on the plane, minding my own business, I saw a woman, probably you are here tonight, you were crying uncontrollably. And in that vision, you, you were crying, people tried to restrain you, you fell to the ground, you were crying so hard. I don't know what has happened to somebody here in recent times that has caused you so much pain. But I have a word of the Lord for that person tonight. You have been heartbroken. You can see yourself in that picture I just said. Crying so hard, people couldn't console you. Wherever you are in this room, you don't need to come forward. Just, just raise your hand. I've had something happen that broke my heart. All right. Quite a lot of hands. But just, mi Cristo laha, e Cristo mahikistario, se Cristo, you know. This person is a woman. It has to do with a loss in your life. The Lord said, don't ask any more questions. Just leave it in my hand. The secret things belong to the Lord. And I will make it all good in my own time. You fell to the ground. They tried to pick you up. You fell to the ground again. Let's be seated in God's presence this evening. Peace. Through the blood of Jesus. Go with me to Colossians 1 20. And we're just going to run through this a bit because the Takahi Christiana, the healing power of God, is already moving in the house. I will be calling out different things, and if it is you, you know, my own is to deliver, and your own is to take. You see, when God calls out your case, that means he's already worked on it. All cases were dealt with at Calvary. But when God sends an errand boy like me to come and deliver the parcel, when the DHL guy comes to your house and knocks the door and says, your name is on this parcel, he's done his job. You've got to stretch your hand and take it. So as I begin to minister, you don't have to be at the end, I'll start calling out word of knowledge of healing or whatever it is. If, if God is talking to you, just where you are seated, you can stand up or lift your hand, but you must do something to take it. If I bring a parcel, you've got to take it if your name is on it. Hallelujah to Jesus. You've got to take it. And once you do that, at the appropriate time, you'll be able to give God glory. But when's the word keep Krista, he Krista. Once the <laughs> All right. There's a lower abdominal pain here, just around here. They call it an infection or whatever, but there's a low abdominal pain here. By the time we are done, it's, it's, it's bye-bye to the thing. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's bye-bye to the thing. It just, it just goes. Just, it just goes. Glory to God. All right, Colossians 1, 20. And having made peace through the blood of his cross, by him to reconcile all things unto himself, by him I say, whether they be things in earth or things in heaven, the Passion Translation says, and by the blood of his cross, everything in heaven and earth, there's a pain to the left side of the back, somewhere here. You're struggling with that? Just lift your hand and thank God for it. Pain? Yeah, yeah. Just, you just keep doing that through us as a minister. By the time we're done, ha, 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 ha. Woo! The Bible says healing is the bread of the children. How many of you are parents here? You're a parent. I mean, bread is something we give our kids. Even, even with Kima Christo like Ayanana, on your right knee, something is wrong on your right knee. Move it. I don't know if it's an accident. Just move it. If you are bold enough, get up and do your little jig and sit down. But I'll keep talking like this. Yeah, just do it and keep thanking him. Just do it. and Amen. So the Bible says, the Passion Translation says, and the blood, and by the blood of his cross, everything in heaven and earth is brought back to himself, back to its original intent, restored to innocence again. Peace through the blood of Jesus is a topic. I love Revelation 12, 11, and 12, and they overcame him by the blood of a lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. The next verse tells us that the devil is mad because his time is short. I'm sure we all know that. 
The devil is mad. His time is short. Things are happening. Families are being attacked. One disease after the other. One pandemic. One kind of terrorism. But I want to say to you, Tikima Christo Lamayaya, that peace through the blood of Jesus. There's a problem with your chest. Breathing, pain, asthma. Just lift your hand and ah, just ah, just ah. Just keep thanking him until I'm finished. And when we are done, it's done. Praise God. So the devil is crazy, but peace has been given to us through the blood of Jesus. You know, many times in life, sometimes we put forgiveness of sin on one side we put healing on one side we put deliverance on one side we put prosperity on one side but the peace was made one day by one person on one cross at the same time jesus didn't go to cross for your sin one day then went for your sickness the next day he paid the price in full one of the things the Lord said to me this morning, he said, the old account was settled long ago. There are some of you here, there are some generational things that are, that are running, your mother running, your father, and that ugly thing is showing up in your body now. I rebuke that thing of hell, and I command it to take his hands off your body in the name of Jesus. There must be a difference between us and them. Exodus eleven six. It says the blood. It said I will make a distinction between you and the Egyptians. I want to say to you tonight that forgiveness and healing have been purchased for you through the blood of His cross. Jesus said, "Which is easier, to say your sins are forgiven or take up your bed?" First Peter 1 18 and 19 says you've been redeemed not with corruptible things as silver and gold but by the precious blood of Jesus as of a lamb without blemish. Isaiah 43 25 says I even I Isaiah 43 25 I even I am he that blots out your sins and I don't remember them anymore. I blot out your transgression for my own sake and I do not remember your sins. Galatians 3 13 and 14 Christ, Galatians 3, 13 and 14, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, for it is written, curse is everyone that hanged on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham will come on the Gentiles through faith. Peace has been made for you through the blood of Jesus Christ today. You see, when they tied him to that whipping post and they were flogging him and they were flogging him, his flesh was being turned, blood was being released. In the old covenant, nobody could go before God but with a bleeding sacrifice because fallen man can't approach God on your own on your own merit you have to take another life another life as a substitute but when God was going to redeem you he didn't take a goat he didn't take a sheep he didn't take a, a cow he didn't take a, a human being he didn't take an angel he himself climbed the cross and said I am pain from eternity to eternity you are so special that God settled that account one time and is done forevermore and we are here to serve quick notice on every work of the devil in your life because the Bible tells me for this purpose was the Son of God made manifest that he might destroy the works of the enemy I declare over you today that generational curses they shall be broken the things you've carried from childhood epilepsy epilepsy it shall disappear things you've carried things you've hidden in shame they will no longer be there because somebody paid the price for you in full. You know, I was in Florida one time and I was in the church. And when we called the healing line just before, the pastor whispered to me, he said, look at that guy. And he said so many unprintable things about him. Well, I was, I was going to pray for the guy to get healed. But then I remember Psalm 103 says, He forgives your sins and heals your diseases. God never separated sin and sickness because sin is the mother of sickness. Without sin, I'm not the original sin in the garden, when Adam fell, there will have been no sickness in the world. 
The man was 53 years old at the time. Thank you, Lord, for that. 52 years old at the time. And when he was two years old, he lost hearing in one of his ears. I believe it was the right one or so. And so for 50 years, he's been deaf in that ear. But once God forgives you, he heals you. It's the same package. How many of you believe if you ask God to forgive you, we give it to you now, now? Or we say, wait till tomorrow. Or wait till I feel better about it. He gives it when? Now, now. The guy could hear a watch tick. Last Thursday, there was another meeting like that. There, a number of you have hearing problems. Deafness, partial deafness. You have to be turning around and doing this. I command spirit of deafness. Come out in Jesus' name. He forgives your sins and he does what? He heals all your diseases. Is there any new disease that Jesus cannot heal? No, answer. Is there any new disease Jesus cannot heal? Deuteronomy 28, 61 says, and every sickness that is not even written in this book, that means plus the new ones coming up, Jesus paid the price for them as well. I was in the nation of Denmark some time ago on a Sunday morning and, you know, a lady came up there, we just prayed, and I left. That was the month of September. By October, she's writing to me. Pastor, thank you for visiting my country. I've been back to the hospital, and the lead doctor said to me, you are not supposed to get healed, but we cannot find the virus. She had been HIV positive for 18 years on medication, but they ran up my sick tire. Something is leaving somebody in the name of Jesus. He paid. Can we say that? He, can you say Jesus paid for me? Say it one more time. Jesus paid for me. If there's an alert that happens now. You know some of you will just jump up. Some alert you will not even, you just, okay. Ordinary. But there are certain alerts that are not Ordinary. There's an alert that moves you. When Jesus touches you, it's an alert that moves you. I want to say your account has been credited with the miracle you need tonight in the name of Jesus. We're in Romania. Sit down. We're in Romania. We had, we're doing a public meeting and the police canceled our permit. But I see how to preach. So we were in the open and rain was beating us. And the police were looking on one side. The devil was talking to me. Black man, what's your problem? You could have sat where in your own country, jet jelly. But there was an old man with a 12-year-old daughter. The man kept just bowing his head on the floor. I thought, what's wrong with this one? At the end of it, we started praying. The girl had been deaf and dumb from birth. And when that girl said, Tata, the whole place went crazy and the police started running forward to be prayed for. I want to say your heavenly father is bigger than cancer, is bigger than leukemia, is bigger than anything that hell has got to throw at you today. There is peace through the blood of Jesus Christ. There are things that are happening in our world today and it's just... You know, they're, they're just crazy, crazy. I was in Uganda one time. Uh, yeah, Jim, uh, Uganda, just outside the, the city of uh, uh, Asai Kampala. I can't remember the name of the town now. We're having a crusade. Kasangati. And my host, Pastor Leo, said to me, look at that guy on crutches. Look at that guy on crutches. He's the worst man in Kasangati. That doesn't help a pastor's faith. I thought, okay. You know who God saved first? That man. You know who left his crutches behind first? That man. As far as God is concerned, forgiveness and healing is the same with him. It doesn't matter what you have done. It doesn't matter how you got yourself into trouble. God is merciful. His heart is out towards you today. He said, you are my child and I want to give you peace in your body, peace in your mind. In the name of Jesus. 
I went to one of our churches. They were dedicating a new building. And I just went to help them pray over the thing. And I walked in. And Christo, Christo, Faha, Christo, Hayaya. I got in there. And the Lord said to me, call every woman who needs a miracle baby to come out. I said, here we go again. And I was not allowed to even ask them their condition. How long they have been believing. You know, sometimes it's not good to know. Because your head will say, this one is hard though. So I remember seven came out. Pastor Ben said there were eight. But I remember seeing seven women come out. And I just prophesied on each of them. Within one year, every one of them delivered a miracle child. I have a postcard on my Facebook. You will see the faces of those seven babies. Listen, your faith has to be in God. Not in what you can see, not in man. He made the heavens and the earth with his word. He can change your story in a moment of time. Is there a believer in the house of the Lord today? No, sometimes we keep looking at, they said this. They will keep saying things. But I keep my eyes on the word of God. I keep my eyes on the cross. I keep my eyes on the blood of Jesus Christ. Are you still with me? The blood has made you the righteous habitation of God. The blood has made you what? The righteous habitation of God. You know, you, you don't know how blessed you are. In those days, if people want to go to God, they have to look for the high priest. But when Jesus went to the cross, the curtain of the Holy of Holies was turned from top to bottom. God said, the blood, my blood has been shed. The sins have been blotted out. I want to dwell in man now. You are a God carrier today. Oh, wow, 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 wow. I said, you are a God carrier today. 2 Corinthians 5, 21, He that knew no sin became sin, that we might be made what? The righteousness of God. You carry the DNA of God Almighty. You are carrying God inside. Jesus said to Philip, I have been with you so long. He said, show us the Father. He said, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. Romans 5, 17 says, we have received the abundance of grace and what? The gift of righteousness. You are God carrier. I said you are a God carrier. I said you are a God carrier. There's something inside of you the devil is afraid of. I said there's something inside of you the devil is afraid of. John G. Lake used to say, paraphrase, this, this, this man in, the suit of, in this suit of clothes is carrying God. He saw himself carrying God. You know, I did a DNA thing the other day in, in America. Somebody convinced me to do it. And then when the result came out, I found I had very strange relatives. Have you tried your own? Some of my relatives came from Mauritania. Some were Irish. Some were Jewish. So let's say you did your DNA. And when the result came out, you got a call from the Queen of England. What's your name, sweetheart? Tomiwa. Tomiwa, I just found out that you are my second cousin and you are the only missing link in this family. I would like you to come over, but I'd like to visit you first. How many of you know that level has changed? All the people that were not greeting you in your office. Eh, Tommy Wakomo. <laughs> Aloro. <laughs> Tommy, I actually discovered that your mother and my mother, <laughs> they are kind of, you know, where your local government chairman will call you. I said, Tommy, what? <laughs> uh, it seems like we are related. They will turn the road to your place. Not because of anything, but because of the DNA that you carry. I want to announce to you that your DNA result is out. 
and we just found out that you are one million percent match with the Lord Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Ancient of Days. You have a match with heaven. Your DNA result is half. Angels are watching out for you. You can stand before God without any sense of condemnation because you are a child of God. If you are a child of God, can you give him a shout? I said, can you give him a shout? Can you give him a shout? That's why the Bible says, come boldly to the throne. The reason many times see Christo, ma Christo, Vishi, and Oliavaya, our faith struggles is that we, we, we are trying to measure up. You don't need to measure up. It's a gift. He has, he has blessed you. The DNA, I don't know how my own came, but I have it. And it matched some people. I'm not looking for them because I don't know their problem. <laughs> Hallelujah to Jesus. That's why you go through certain things. Let me tell you this story. There's a girl in our church. Her name is Peace. Every testimony I tell you is documented. In one of my books, you may even see some of them. I put names in my own sometimes because they look so far-fetched. This girl had an accident. Professor, I'm sure you've, you've probably met her in church. And they said they are going to amputate her hand, not from the wrist, not from the elbow, but from the shoulder blade, because gangrene set in. She told me Pastor Magos were coming out of her hand. Well, between services, our pastors went to see her, and when they got there, oh, you're a child of God. You are too much. Mm, you are too much. Don't, don't feel anyhow. You, if you know how God feels about you, eh, you, will, you, will, you, will, you, will, you will sit well. I say sit well, balance, sit well. In the north we say, Kijara Sama, sit well, balance yourself. She actually died. But that's a story for another day. So the hand was rotten, and between services, the pastors came up in the old church. Uh, so we want to tell you, blah, 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 blah. Peace is her name. She's going to have an amputation at the National Hospital in Abuja. I'm telling you about your heavenly father, not Tundibolanta. Because I've never done one miracle in my life. It's Jesus that does it. I don't take credit for nothing. But I've seen too many for anybody to tell me it doesn't happen. And there will be many tonight running up and down this place. But let's stay our faith a little bit. Anyway, they came in and said, let's pray. And when we were praying, these words just jumped out of my mouth. Her hand will not be amputated in Jesus' name. But the pastors didn't say amen. They just said, Wah. I said, man of God. They said, oh God, you didn't follow us to that place. We couldn't enter the room. She was smelling. Long story short, she got there, National Hospital. They put her in, in a surgery or a theater they didn't use air freshener everywhere. She was expecting, the hand was hanging there, she was expecting to wake up with one hand. When the, I told this story in Norway and some friends came for our convention. They insisted on seeing her themselves. They said, touch her. But you could still see the hand. The, the hand just lifted itself. Your father is too strong. The devil is not a competition. You know God can put a baby in your womb without a womb? We have seen it too. Oh. Don't come and tell me story. This is how the hand started doing like this. Then the doctor started shouting. We cannot cut a living hand. We cannot cut a living hand. She's there with her two hands today. They took off the rotten skin, wrapped it with something. We were doing a workers meeting. My wife, Pastor Tina, came and said, peace is here today. When that lady took off her shawl, there was fresh skin on that hand there's nothing too hard for him he's you see abraham's faith abraham believed that god was able to do he said unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ask or think or imagine 
That's why it's God. It doesn't have competition. You are the habitation of God. Your DNA matches his DNA. I'm taking us somewhere tonight because our knees are different just like our faces are different. Is there an amen somewhere in the house today? <laughs> I love testimonies. They overcame him by the blood of a lamb. If you pray to a dead God, there will be no testimony. One of my friends in Ghana, they kidnapped his daughter. When they got to the place, they were caught. Ritual. The priest who sat on the, this, they said, who is that one? There's something on top of her. Return her to where you took her. The blood of Jesus is on top of your head. Jesus died once and for all. He has died your death. They will pass over you in the name of Jesus. Can go on and on. Let's see another thing we are delivered from. The peace that has come. The blood has redeemed your life from destruction. Can you say amen? amen. Exodus 12, 12, 13 says, uh, Exodus 12, 13 says, And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where ye are. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. We only have very few copies of, on our book on the blood. But you can get on Amazon. But there are other books like the shaking and the glory we did last year and um, spiritual brokenness. We have a few of them. But the testimonies, some of these things are there. You can read for yourself. You see, God says the blood shall be a sign. Joshua 2.12. Joshua 2.12. Now therefore I pray you, swear unto me by the Lord, since I have shown you kindness, that you also show kindness unto my father's house and give me a true token. Joshua 2.12, that was Rahab talking there. And the blood shall be to you a token. Exodus 12.13. Hallelujah. Are you ready to hear this one? The place you used to go before you got really saved. If you have a problem, they say you should bring what? A chicken. So that the, 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 the sacrifice, the blood there will be taken to an altar. And the spirit that operated there will come in and help you when there's a problem. I said, does, anybody, does anybody understand that? If your problem is more serious, then you bring what? Hmm? Goat. If it's higher than that, then you bring what? If it's higher than that, then you bring what? A huh? human being. How did you guys find out? <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's, it's common knowledge, isn't it? But when God was going to settle and give you peace, some people cannot even go to their village if they want to go for Easter now. They can't go because there's no peace. There's one spirit, one juju. I can tell you a lot of stories. I've seen many things in this in my life. But the blood of Jesus... Never forget it. It's divine. It's 100% holy. It has no spot. There's no money value you can put on it. He said we are redeemed, not with corruptible things as silver and gold, but by the precious blood of Jesus as of a lamb without blemish. You know, I live in the north. I will do a lot of work in places you will not want to know. Hmm? Within and outside this country. Mission work. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. When Sharia came in 2000 and they were slaughtering people like chicken, the Lord gave me Hebrews 11:28. By faith, Moses kept the Passover, and the destroyer of the firstborn did not touch them, and it has preserved our people. Listen good. Listen good. There was no altar on earth where they could put the blood of Jesus. Not in the first heaven, the atmospheric heaven, where you see. Not in the stellar heavens, where the galaxies and the stars are. That blood had to be carried into God's altar in heaven. That is to say, if anybody wants to destroy you, they have to leave all these local altars on the earth 
and if there's anything in the atmospheric heaven, they have to leave it. Then they have to leave the stellar heavens and they have to go to the throne of God and cancel the power of the blood of Jesus that was placed there. So you are unkillable. You are indestructible. They may be killing them on your right hand. They may be killing them on your left hand, but it will not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked because you have met the Lord, even the most high, your habitation. I declare over your life today that the blood of Jesus is speaking over your family, is speaking over your children, is speaking over your destiny, is speaking over your tomorrow. You are indestructible. I say you are indestructible. The blood is calling your name. The blood is calling your name. Can somebody give the Lord a shout in this place? One dear sister in our church, she walked home. She drove into her house. The moment she drove in, two guys pulled, just forced the gate. They said, give us the key to that car. She said, it's in the ignition. She came out. He said, we're going to shoot you. She said, I plead the blood of Jesus. That is a song with revelation. Something that you cannot put natural value on, you can't buy. If you say this pulpit is $1 million, somebody will buy it. You say $10 million, somebody will buy it. Hundred million dollars, and that person will buy it. But when you say this pulpit is Jesus Christ, you can't buy it. May God give you revelation. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, don't be a religious Christian, be a Bible believing Christian because where the rubber meets the road is going to be the word of God and your faith in the power of the blood of Jesus that will bring you through because everything we have, we have it on the basis of the blood. Everything, your redemption, everything you receive is on the basis of the blood and you got to get that revelation into your soul that peace has been made for you by the power of the blood they shot this woman three times point black range boom 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 and the bullets fell down three times and those rascals ran for their life the woman is alive you can touch her you can feel her the time of playing church is over oh satan is no more using kid gloves oh they are firing refiring oh so you, it's time, some of these scriptures, you go home, you eat them, you, it's called a jesara, you understand? Immunity. You chop, chop, he said, I found your word and I ate them, and then your word became the joy and rejoicing of my heart. When you get to that point, you will be, people say, what is, what is pushing you? It is the blood that is pushing you. And she's not the only one with that kind of testimony. Friends, peace by the power of the blood. There was a pandemic in Egypt. People were dying like flies. Of course, we should do all the things we are supposed to do. But you have a higher immunity in the blood of Jesus. Oh, oh. I said you have a higher immunity in the blood of Jesus. Do all the natural things, but, but don't wake up without pleading the blood for one single moment. Plead it on your children. Plead it as you step out of your house. There's a bloodline that the devil cannot touch. He cannot cross it. When you do it by faith, the enemy must bow. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying today? The Lord will help us, oh. I said, the Lord will help me, oh. You see, I'm learning all the time. Anybody who knows everything is, uh, <laughs> needs a lot of help. The blood is a spiritual legal tender. Wherever you place the blood, you make a demand, peace must come. Maybe over your children, one child is behaving one kind. <laughs> our central market in our town caught fire. One sister in the church, she's not overly educated. Things were burning. The blood is a token. You know what a token is? A sign, traffic light. It's a universal language. If you go to London, it's a red. 
You don't say I'm from Nigeria, I'm going to go. Red in, is red in London, is red in America, is red in Kenya, is red in South Africa. Where you put the blood of Jesus, every demon, they, they, they deal with blood. That's a blood they can never go near. Let your faith develop in the power of the blood because we are living in perilous times. Jesus appeared to me on the 3rd of November, 2019. He said to me, I have come to open the ship gates. There's revival coming. That's what the devil is doing, all the mad things he's doing. But you are going to come through it smelling like roses. But we must engage our weapon. The reason for the shaking is because there's a glory coming. I said, there's a glory coming. Oh. The way people are running after this Jesus now in some places that are forbidden, you won't believe it. We're seeing thousands and thousands coming to faith in Jesus. Thousands and thousands. The Lord will help us. So this woman was, was, was you know, she, she, she was running. She was running and she almost, she was going to jump in. You know when you are hysterical, panic. She was going to jump in. People say, ah, her name is Mrs. Zachariah. They say, don't do that, don't do that, mama. Then she just said, I've been preaching this message for many years. If I don't believe it, I will be the biggest fool to be doing what I'm doing. And it works for whoso. It will work for you too. She knows what she said. The blood of Jesus that uh, my Pastor Balanta is preaching about. She didn't say it was for her. I said the one that her pastor is preaching about. I now put you on my shop. Oh. God, I have put that blood of Jesus that is preaching about on my shop. Oh. I have put people say, Woman, what are you, you are doing? Kata, 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 kata. I have put that blood that Pastor Balanta is preaching on my shop. Oh. Brethren. <laughs> When you get to heaven, I pray that you will not go to heaven and say, Oh God, I miss you. Angel, say, Don't cry, don't cry, clear your eye. You are in heaven now. You know, it's like you are sitting in first class on a plane and you didn't eat any food. <laughs> Won't they, won't they say, Which kind of. Uh, Do you know what happened? The fire burnt everything from the beginning, skipped that woman's shop, and burnt everything to the end. The devil wants to tell you he's so strong and God is getting weaker. But there's no competition between them. The blood of Jesus has made peace. And that blood was placed on the mercy seat in heaven with your name on it. That's why the Bible says it is speaking. It's calling your name. You got to add your voice to that thing. I don't care if your child says he doesn't care about Jesus. It's not stronger than the blood of Jesus now. Start pleading that blood on that child. I can go on and on. The fantastic testimonies of the peace of God through the blood of the cross. We underestimate that. Ah, I'm forgiven. Ah, it's more than that. Forgiveness is huge, but it's more than that. It's every area of your life, even your business. Somebody here, you lost a big investment. The Lord was showing me that sometime. When we pray today, or, you know, if you are here, that money will come back multiple fold in the name of Jesus. One of you, you were actually tricked by somebody you trusted. They trick you. But there's nothing God cannot repair. I said, there's nothing he cannot repair. Friends, the blood is a token. It's a token. One or two more thoughts and I will begin to pray tonight. It might be a long evening. Another key to your peace is to honor grace. 
tomorrow morning we'll go maybe in a slightly different direction. But Hosea 12.13 says, Hosea 12.13, And by a prophet the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt, and by a prophet was he preserved. That pain to this side is leaving you now. See where I'm touching? It's going. Don't be doing bye-bye. You see, when the anointing is here, that means God came with his own faith. That's the secret, though. That's why it happens fast. That means God came with his own faith. And he said, okay. It's like different between riding bicycle and flying plane. So anything that you want to deal with, just start thanking God. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. By a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt, and by a prophet was he preserved. When Joseph had had those enemies, that's Hosea 12, 13, in 2 Chronicles 20, 20, and they rose up early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa, and as they went forth, Joseph had stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, inhabitants of Jerusalem, believe in the Lord your God, so shall ye be established. Believe his prophets, so shall ye prosper. This, this thing keeps popping in my head. So There's someone here, you're having an unusual movement in your body. They don't know what it is. Something is moving, but you, they don't really know what it is. Huh? Do bye-bye to it. There was a young convert. You know, we have a hospital in our ministry where we help people. So, this, this guy suddenly was having abdominal pain. They did a scan. They couldn't see anything. So, my pastors, Pastor Gambo and Pastor Joel, I wasn't even around. They were just praying for this guy. Prayed one hour, prayed two hours. The guy vomited something. What did he vomit? I said, what did he vomit? You want to know what he vomited? I have the object on my phone. It was something that looked, it had 26 office pinheads. It's on my phone. 26 office pinheads. But sometimes people tell me, Pastor, can you show me that thing? And they show them. <laughs> How someone say, Gani Yako Reji, sin is believing. So, it had a black thread and a piece of paper with names of three evil spirits. We had to get someone to translate it. He never swallowed it but entered him. But when the blood of Almighty God comes into your situation, everything that they have remotely sent into your body that is threatening your destiny tonight, you are going to leave them behind in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a woman here to the left side. This has to do with fertility. But the problem is to the left side. They've done so many things. But in the name of Jesus, I speak the word of the Lord. Every remote control, everything they have sent into your body. Listen, there are things, my friends, in the spirit world that science doesn't make sense. If I was sharing that testimony with one of my, my friends, Donna, Sham, uh, uh, yeah, Donna Shambach, Shambach's daughter, and she said that she, only, her father, she saw that thing in her father's ministry many years ago where something entered somebody's body that the person did not swallow. But the blood of Jesus can enter where your doctor cannot enter. You will leave it behind in the name of Jesus. I say you will leave it behind in the name of Jesus. I said, honor oh, grace. We will soon pray. Did I say you honor grace? By a prophet, he brought them out. By a prophet, he preserved them. Why am I saying you honor grace? You know, sometimes, especially in this modern world, when everybody is very educated and very intelligent, you know? in those days, my father used to say, 
don't uh, burn the tire. You know, when you are driving, there's a way you scratch the tire. I said, no, no, don't do that. I said, this old man. And he said, I started buying a car. I found myself telling my driver, why are you burning my tire? Because there are certain things you don't see. But the people God has put over you, God will show them. Okay, Christo, la, 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 Messiah. He will show them some things because you are under their covering. I'm not saying they should manipulate you, but if you don't, if God tells them to speak into your life and you say, you know, here, they say, dog, way. So, you are the one that completed the thing yourself. One of my deacons went to his village. He didn't tell me he was traveling. So I was busy watching Premier League football. I know the people, you are too holy. You don't watch Premier League in this church. Uh, we, we don't want to fight. Oh. Which club you are supporting? Leave that one. Tomorrow we'll find out which club you are supporting. So I was minding my business and then the Lord said to me, call Iman now. I said, for what now? He said, just call him. So I picked my phone. I said, Iman, where are you? He said, I'm in my village. The Lord said, tell him to get up now. He didn't want to pick my call because he didn't even tell me. He used to tell me this story. This is why he didn't tell me. I said, leave that place now. He said, we're, we're actually at a very high point in the meeting. <laughs> I said, leave that place now. He said, no, we I don't talk to him like that. I don't, I've never, ever called him like that. He decided to step out. Bullets. Bam. Why will God speak to your pastor over your life? Because he's your shepherd. I know you have a Holy Ghost. There was one day I was in Romania. We were doing crusades and we were driving. I was tired because we were going from city to city. You know, it can be very long sometimes, late in the night. Wake up early morning. And... Um, <laughs> One of my hosts was talking about they have a radio station, they need to pay to renew their license, they need to do this, they need to do that, they need to do the other one. He was just talking. Me, I was enjoying my sleep, jejeli. Just two more stories or so. Faith comes by hearing. Because I'll say some things about some of you in the course of today and tomorrow. Just write it down, it doesn't make sense. It may be the key you've been looking for. Some things will fly out of my mouth. Inside your own heart, you say, that man is talking to me. And by the way, I've not had any discussion with your pastor. I don't know anybody here. So the Lord said to me, tell me hi. That's the guy's name. He's employed by those Americans. Oh, Americans own the thing. They own the equipment. They own the license. Oh. He said, I should tell him that he's going to own the company. <laughs> I said, Holy Spirit. <laughs> The man is born again and he speaks in tongues. Tell him yourself. <laughs> you are working for somebody. I should tell the man. Do you know the thing happened? It was during the recession. Things were so bad, they invited him to the U.S. He said, you've been very faithful. Now there's recession, blah, 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 blah. The, the thing is your own. Just fund it. The guy called me. He said, you are a man of God. You are a man of God. You are a man. I said, ah, what's the problem? God will change your story. I said, God will change your story. God will turn it around. In the name of Jesus. Two more stories. You won't get tired of my stories. I, I don't work any. I don't work. I work away. <laughs> I was somewhere in Europe, these people are a bit famous, so I, I don't want to, uh, you know, but I was somewhere in Europe, big church, they have live TV on Sunday morning, so as you are preaching, that was before streaming, you know, <laughs> live TV, everybody's watching you, so I've been going there for, at that time, maybe 20 something years, so I came to church, I'm going to enjoy myself, I was, uh, Holy Ghost, just, as I got up like this, minding my business, jejeli, Holy Ghost said, Call that man and his wife. Say, you have come again. Oh. Me, I just came yesterday. 
what do you want to say? Sometimes I don't even know what he wants me to say. So I said, okay, stand up. They stood up. Came, they held themselves. And I heard, like the Bible says, the word of the Lord came to me. That's the way it comes to me sometimes. I hear, then I see. Sometimes I see, then I hear. Anyway, he said, tell her to run for the office. She's going to win. <laughs> I said, God. She used to work for Christian TV, and she had interviewed me a few times on Christian TV. So I didn't even know she entered politics. See, there's a superior knowledge from inside. If you come tomorrow morning, we are going to share some principles that can help you. Because many of you, I don't want to go that way today. You are busy looking for woolly and wolesses all over the place. That must be Yoruba. Prophets and prophetesses all over the place. <laughs> but there's a prophet inside you yourself. I said, there's a prophet inside you yourself. He said, the Holy Ghost will show you things to come. I struggled that day. My brain just dried up. I couldn't remember any verse in the Bible. I'm telling you the truth. I couldn't remember any verse in the Bible. People saw I was struggling. I just told the praisers to keep singing. You know, when, when you are confusing... <laughs> so I just signaled them one more. My Weibo pastor friend was looking, you know, those people are very time conscious. So if they give you 30 minutes, you do 45, you're all not finished. <laughs> so as long as there's a big clock counting for you, pam, 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 pam. So I was, this, after I said like three times, I said, Talk. What do I have to lose? Anybody God will use must die to, the, to self, to your flesh. You want to be popular. You want to be famous. You want people to like you. God no will use you. You are a big man. <laughs> God uses nobodies. People who, who, who have nothing to show. So when they came forward, I gave the word. And then my eye clear. I could remember scripture. I will say, Holy Spirit. Ah, this is what you did today. Please help me. So I didn't want, I was trying to avoid them after the service. I was doing everything. Maybe another friend would take me out of that church. They had a door like to that side. So as I was, the man just pulled my shirt from the back. Tunde, Tunde. You know here, if we have not called you Reverend Professor Chief, you won't be happy. They will just call you your name. Tunde, Tunde. Sorry, that was just a joke. <laughs> he said, we are taking you for lunch. I wanted to say, no, I'm not hungry. <laughs> Before we got out of the job, he said, we are behind in the polls. We are behind, you know, their own poll. When you are behind with that kind of margin, you are behind, though. Nothing can happen. Do you know she went to parliament? I haven't had the privilege of going to see her. God can change your story tonight. In the old church, where I was, sometimes the Holy Ghost would come and I would just say things I don't know where I came from. I had myself say, and the fire broad will disappear and you will have a son by the name of Joshua. In the middle of the message, I thought, who said that? Then I realized that I said it. I said, turn your Bibles to... <laughs> It was totally out of sync with anything we were doing, but that's the Holy Ghost. I, I didn't know I started a problem for one family. When they got home, the woman, they've collected money. That time, 100,000 was the surgery. I believe in doctors, but I also believe in Jehovah Rapha. Amen. The woman said, I'm not doing this surgery again. He said, why? Husband said, why? You know, we men are very very logical. He said, why? He said, but didn't you hear when pastor said the fibro will disappear and you have a child by the name of Joshua? He said, so what? Did he call your name? <laughs> <laughs> the guy's name is Ataguba. He's a, he's a... Okay. Let's go back and do scan. They did the scan three times. Brethren, Fibro disappear. And you know the part of the story that really trips me? There's a boy in church by the name of Joshua. 
We are ready to pray tonight. The woman with the issue of blood said, If I can touch the helm of his garment, I shall be made whole. Maybe I've already said, given a word that concerned you, or maybe I have not. One of the keys for us to receive from God, faith is an act. Can somebody say that? That means there must be something I can do. Yeah. Yeah. There must be something I can do to show God I believe. If it's just to lift my hand, if it's to move that knee, if it's to touch my toes, if it's to do a little dance. The woman was not supposed to come to that meeting. Her religion branded her unclean. But she came. Probably she got on all fours to get to the Lord Jesus, touched him, and power hit her. During this lockdown, one of our, we have a minister's fellowship that I lead with many churches, you know, some 400 churches or so now. And uh, one of the guys just suddenly became, we don't know what happened to him, his hand, you know, his hand was, the leg, just, ah, uh -uh. bro, we went to Abuja for some, that's how he came back. So I had not seen him. I decided to go there with two of my pastors, one mission director, another leader of the fellowship. We got there. And uh, for when you, well, if you knew him before, you saw him, naturally you just f feel like crying. Because he's a very active guy. Dr. Amama is his name. So we began to pray. Prayed. We felt the power of God. I felt the power. And even Pastor Gambo felt the power. Dr. Priest felt the power of God came, hit him. You know, the power of God can come, but you got to do something with it. Like I said, the pastor can be delivered by DHL. You have to sign, receive. So we said, okay. We felt it. Sometimes you don't even feel nothing, but you know God has spoken. I said, pull him up. They pulled him up. And it was as if we were punishing him. Begin to walk in Jesus' name. Friends, by the time he stumbled a few times, and he's still walking today. So stand up everywhere. Let's go to God. Someone said, Jesus is the healer. Jesus is the Hallelujah. Amen. I don't stammer. Now only goes they twist the mouth sometimes. So let's just pray. Hallelujah. Jesus is the healer. Jesus is my healer. I want all heads bowed. For adventure, you are here tonight. You don't know Jesus as your Savior and Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We do that. You don't know Jesus as your Savior and Lord, or you're a backslider. Just raise your right hand up wherever you are. Pastor, I need to rededicate my life to God. Just raise your hand wherever you are. I need to rededicate my life to God. All right. I think I'm seeing hand at the, is that a hand at the tail at the back there? If you are raising your hand, just wave it a bit. All right, there are some hands all over the place there. I'm going to lead you in the sinner's prayer, but after the healing line, when I've taken, I finished that prayer, you are going to come back up for the power of the Holy Ghost. I don't want to do that right now. And for anybody who needs another dimension of encounter. But if you raise your hand, pray this prayer. Say, Heavenly Father, everybody pray. Heavenly Father, I know I'm a sinner. I believe with my heart and I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ died for my sins. He was raised again for my freedom. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Make me a new person in Jesus' name. Tonight you are here your 
use your left hand is giving you problems. Somebody has a problem with the cup here. Is it a cup they call it? All right. Many things have been picked up. Just to help our faith, I'm going to pray one more time. And once I pray in faith, there's another person here, you're, you're, Christo Lakayana, you're having some kind of numbness. It's as if you are losing feeling in one part of your body, your face, or one part. You're, you're having numbness. It's going to go away. It, it will just disappear because Jesus is the healer. Okay? Partial headache, like half of your head, things like that. Praise God. In the name of Jesus. I come against every foul spirit of infirmity. Place your hand on your head or wherever you can put it decently in public as I pray. If you need a touch. Every knee problem I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Lower abdominal pain disappear in the name of Jesus. Lower back pain disappear in the name of Jesus. Pain in the back, go in the name of Jesus. Pain in the chest, go in the name of Jesus. Pain in your heart, in your heart, as if it's not, the rhythm is not right. It's not, I don't know what they call it, but it's not right. Be healed in Jesus' name. Let your arm be healed in the name of Jesus. Deafness, loose, come out in the name of Jesus. Every blind eye open in the name of Jesus. Irregular bleeding, irregular bleeding. It goes on longer than it's supposed to be. I command you to cease in the name of Jesus. Spirit of epilepsy, I bind you and I cast you out in the name of Jesus. You've been fainting, just passing out. In the name of Jesus, Father, visit that one now in Jesus' name. Let the fire of God fall upon this place, sir. Every infirmity, every fibroid, every problem with conception, I say be loose in the name of Jesus. I say be loose in the name of Jesus. Every problem with walking, I said arise in the name of Jesus. 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 I command that injury from that accident to disappear right now in the name of Jesus. Problem with your heel, the heel, back of the leg. I say be healed now in the name of Jesus. Big toe, T-O-E, be healed now in the name of Jesus. I command that eye, I don't know what is blocking the sight. I say blind eye open in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now I've delivered the parcel. Lift your hand and begin to wave it. Do something in faith. Look for your healing, not your sickness. Look for your healing, not your sickness. Look for your healing, not your sickness. Move that knee. Bend that back. Move that knee. Rotate that arm. Begin to breathe well. That chest condition is gone. Asthma. Go in Jesus' name. Just begin to do something in faith. Wave that hand. Jesus is here. Do something in faith. Move that knee around. Bend that back. Block the good ear. And begin to praise God with the deaf one. Block the ear that was good. And praise God with the one that was not good. Begin to praise him. Take a minute. Take two minutes. Just demonstrate your faith. Faith is an act. Faith is an act. Faith is an act. Say thank you Lord. I am healed. Thank you, Lord. I am healed. Abdominal pain is gone in Jesus' name. I say abdominal pain is gone in Jesus' name. Wave that hand one more time. Let's give Jesus three shouts of hallelujah in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One more. Hallelujah. Give him praise. Give him praise. Woo! 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 Yes! I say yes! I say yes! I tell you, I feel the heat of the Holy Ghost. In this, see Christo, 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 Christo. 
in this sakamara ta 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 in this period of prayer and praise you discover something left you you feel light the pain is gone something is different in your body can you just wave your hand and give god glory in this place oh wave your hand and give god glory in this house i say wave your hand and give jesus all the glory in this house i say wave your hand i say wave your hand wave your hand we must give him back all the glory because today Bolanta did not touch anybody here. You're going to do something for me. You know something happened to you. As a further demonstration of your faith, step into the aisle. Just leave your seat and step into the aisle. Something happened. Just leave your seat, step into the aisle quickly. Step into the aisle quickly quickly so if you begin to make your way forward and give a bit of distance to the next person but come begin to come from everywhere come 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 just stay in the aisle first stay in the aisle first i want some of you to come and stand and, and space yourself out make sure arms length from the next person and face me keep coming from everywhere you can take it all the way down there jesus I said Jesus! I said Jesus! I said Jesus! Hey! People have been touched by God. If you're on the first line, move closer to give a space to the people behind you. Move very close to the altar. Right, other people we have to stay in the aisle so we can space ourselves, but you must make sure there's distance. All right, shouldn't be crowded at all. I'm doing my best with that. Well, can we lift our hand and just thank Daddy for all these things? Can we lift our hands and thank Daddy God? Lord, I return the glory. Lord, I return the glory. Lord, I return the glory. Jesus, I return the glory. Jesus, I return the glory. I return the glory. I return the glory. Kirata baba baba satayando. Shalabaka tai kario toro do 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 do. There are so many people that have been touched by God. He's only honoring to Jesus. He's only honoring to Jesus that we hear from a few of you. You, you know that what God did for you is so special. Can you wave your hand at me? Ah, everybody is special. All right. Wave your hand towards me again. It's so special. Let me, let me have a few here. The first five that you know is very special. Just stay where you are, keep worshiping God. Because sometimes as these testimonies come, God is perfecting in you. You are waving so hard. Come. That one climb and that one climb. Yes, climb. They should space themselves. They can stand straight. Let people see them. There's no trick in this thing. Stand straight. They say they used to fake it. There's no fake anything here. Come and stand straight. You know God did something special. Go and stand straight. Anybody that was hearing problem that God healed tonight, you are hearing your ear had a problem and you have been touched by God, where are you? Come and climb up. Oh. Come and climb up. Space out, space out, space out, space out. Space out. All right. You know, you can't tell us the whole story. It's just a pa, 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 pa. We call them matchstick testimonies. You have a mic there. All right. Who is going to talk first? Who is the boldest here? This guy, he raised his hand first. Just put the mic towards him. Praise the Lord. What was wrong with you, sir? Um, pains all over from here down here. On one uh, side? Yeah, on one side. I, I didn't even take note before. But before you said numbness in the left hand, the Spirit told me that something was wrong from here, all over. Yeah. And you just said it. And 
when you said we should, we should check ourselves and wave, wave our hands, I couldn't leave my hands for long. Somebody give a lot of praise. Give so, a lot of praise. Do that now. Come How on. long have you had that? Two years. Two for years. For a long time now. For two years. Yes, sir. Next person. What was wrong with you, sir? I had this to ache since yesterday. Yes. And it was dripping blood. Dripping so blood. I could not eat last night. Yes. So coming to church this afternoon, it was still dripping blood. I had to run out a few times to wash my mouth at the toilet. I even had to get enough tom tom so that I could swallow the blood. The but blood. while we were praying, I didn't feel the blood the anymore. The blood disappeared. Can someone give Jesus praise in the house? What happened there? Yeah, I had a recurrent shoulder dislocation and I had a surgery last year. Uh, but during the uh, Minister Don't Say Your Cancer uh, administration, and while you were saying it, I could move. I could not move my shoulder in a 360 direction. Make the devil the mad. Surgery. Make the devil mad. Move it. Move it. Somebody shout! Go, 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 go. What happened there? What happened there? I have a swollen from my chest a to what? my tummy. It's swollen from a, my a chest. Growth. Yes, from my chest to my tummy. Just started like a few weeks ago. I was supposed to go for my for a scan tomorrow. All right, you've given. Just keep going down. Yes. And thank and thank God, I'm not feeling the pains anymore. Thank you, Jesus. The pain is no longer, there. No longer there. The growth is it's gone. No longer there. Yeah. Somebody give a Lord a shout in the house of God. Yeah. What happened? Bring more people up. More people up. Let's move this way. We need to do this because they accuse and say they, they used to set it up. Nothing was set up here. We don't know anybody here. It's God. It's God. It's Jesus. Yes, my sister. Glory. I was having pain. On my um, right on the room. right side, yes. Yes, when I came in. But maybe you said someone, somebody here is having pain here that we should raise our hand. And pain is gone. It's Give gone. Jesus praise. My sister, what happened to you? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Mine was heart. Your heart? Heart, yes. Inside. You are in pain there. It, I, I, I can't even explain it. But for some, for some weeks now, the heart was just not... So at peace at all, yes. And how are you feeling now? Very strong. Somebody Very shout strong. hallelujah. <laughs> what happened to you, my brother? Praise God. I have what they call Agbo in my house. What? Herbs. Okay, Agbo. Yeah. Okay. So one on the fridge, on top of the fridge, one inside the fridge. I have this terrible back pain. Anytime I tell my wife, she's not always happy, and I've been praying about it. When how you mentioned the you, case, how long have you had the since back? I got married to my wife, All right. when you mentioned the case at the back, I was just, even immediately I got my healing. I kept saying, thank you, Jesus. And it's all gone. All my back. Oh, came. give Jesus praise, somebody. What happened here? Praise the Lord. I was diagnosed um, with um, hypertension two years ago, and it usually starts with a strain on my um, left shoulder cap. Yeah, the and, cup, yeah. Yes, and sometimes I can't, if I'm holding something, my hand shakes that I have to let it go. It starts from here. And two days ago, um, where I came for the conference, I was driving back home, and I was holding the steering, and my hand started shaking. But I was saying, this is not why I'm in this conference. There's something else I'm coming for. This is just irrelevant. But when you said the left shoulder cap, I knew that it was me, and I started twisting my Jesus! Hand. What happened, my, my brother? Injured. There, what happened? Yeah. I got injured 2014 playing university football on my playing toe. University football. So I thought it has gone. Toe, huh? Yes. Good. And then yesterday evening, it just started again from the way it was really bad. I couldn't even walk well since morning till now, until you mentioned toe. And now I can do it. So Somebody give Jesus glory. Give Jesus glory. What happened, my sister, there? Praise God. I went to the hospital. I have I've had some sensation on my left side. On the left side. So I went to the hospital and the doctor said I had kidney infection. Gave me um, some um, medicine like uh, antibiotics. I took them but that sensation kept on going. Then when you, you said, yes, I said something was pain somewhere around somebody's left side. Yes. I felt a very hot sensation. Yes, yes. And I touched my hands and I was Hot saying, sensation, that's the Holy Ghost. Yeah, and I said, Jesus, thank you because I know I'm here. The pain is and gone. And I everything, no sensation, no nothing, sen everything is gone. Jesus! Well, I, I, for some reasons today, I just started feeling pain under my abdomen. Yes. But I was surprised today, that was the very first... Um, ailments that was mentioned 
as a result, I believe the pain has gone. Even though I am, I'm not feeling it the way it was before, I believe it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Give Jesus praise. Once the Lord gives a word, just grab it and keep thanking him. You are standing here, just lift your hand and thank him. Just keep thanking him. What I've discovered is that Kiristo Roma Christo Likirite Keretototo. If you have any problem with hearing, either you are deaf or partial deafness, or you are the type that will be turning around. If there's anybody like that, let me see you. God is gonna is, is just gonna clear. There, climb up. Just okay, stand here, stand here, stand here. Hey, what happened? for the program this evening. I felt a sharp pain by my left side, my right hand side. Yeah. My daughter can testify to it. But while you were praying, immediately the speed, the thing, the pain left me. I can't even... Jesus! Explain. Yes, sister, what happened? Praise the Lord. I used to have back pain. It grew increasingly over seven years. At the point I was healed, it started again. This night, it was so bad, I would bend down intermittently. So when you talked about back pain... I was lifting one hand, waving. I was feeling a heat sensation in the other hand. When I said we should do something, I bent. I felt it. My dinner said we should come forward. I said, mm, maybe. As I bent again, I just started laughing. <laughs> I <don't> bend again. <laughs> bend again. Somebody shout. My sister over there. Um, good evening, church. Um, I had an accident in 2019. Yes. And the car was totaled. Um, my knee was shot between the um, gear and the chair, and um, my toe, this toe was broken, mm. and it was, it hurt so bad, I actually started physiotherapy mm. for the longest time, and I still do it till yesterday, Jesus. but this evening, um, the one thing that I told God was, I don't want to feel the pain in this knee anymore. Mm. I couldn't bend it without aches or pain. Wow. And I couldn't kick forward. Wow. But I am kicking. Hey! Jesus! Woo! Somebody said Jesus! Somebody said Jesus! All right. Tell us what Jesus did. Everything uh -huh. was normal. So when we ended the fast, I decided that I was going to continue my fast till the program starts. Problem, so about five days yeah? ago, I started feeling a sharp Ooh. pain here. And then when Which this pain them? started, I was like, I'm not going to stop this my fast. That I'm still going to stop at 12, I'm going to stop at 1. So all of a sudden, when the, when the pastor when, when you mentioned a sharp pain here, immediately, it wasn't, it, it, immediately I was not feeling anything again. Everything was gone. Thank God. All right, firstly, I, lately I've been having the, my new cup, I, I could literally feel the, the bone shifting. But when Pastor talked about the knee pain, I realized that it, it, it had stopped. Keep talking a lot. And, and secondly, do, 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 what do, 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 is very do, do, do. peculiar to me was is about my career. Lots of things have been happening. I'm a broadcast journalist, and when Pastor was talking about before people get to you, they have to get to the first heaven, the second heaven, then get to God. And then God said to me that they will not get to you. Now, lots of things have been happening. I don't know where they are coming from. Conspiracies everywhere. But God said they will not get to you. And it's very peculiar to me because I prayed for it. I prayed for it before I came here. And God gave me a, an assurance that they will not get to me just when. All right, sister. What the Lord just showed me. There is someone behind the whole thing, but the rug was pulled from under their, uh, their, 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 their feet. It can mean many things, but that just means, said, I will give people for your life. Next person. Yes. Praise God. Um, so I've been experiencing miracles, so I believe in miracles. Uh, for like over a year, I've been having pain from my private part here. It comes up here and then it goes to the back. Severe pain for Are like over a year. Lord? 
So I have been believing God. I didn't have not been taking any pain relief. I said, I want to see and notice when God would do the miracle. And, you know, as I was sitting there, all of a sudden, pastor mentioned my case. He said that there's somebody here from your lower and then to the back. The pain is severe. All of a sudden, as I, you know, was praising God, I just realized that the pain started disappearing gradually, started disappearing. And, you know, the pain has disappeared. Now, the testimony belongs to God. I have received the healing. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Like for a while now, I've been feeling this pain at this part of my leg. I know sometimes I walk out to tell my colleagues to just massage because the pain is always too much. I still felt the pain today in service. And when Pastor was praying, I was, I'm actually trusting God for, because I have like a cyst in my hand. That's what I've been trusting God for. But I didn't even mention this. But when he said we should check us, I just noticed the pain is gone. I can twist my leg. Jesus, praise, praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My friend, what is your name, sir? Biodun Alagbe. Biodun. You just told me that all your life you've been having problems. Your right ear has not been working. Yes. So Jesus has done it tonight. So you hold him. You talk to the mic. I will be with anything I say, you say. Okay. Jesus. Jesus. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Woo Who knows this guy? Who knows him? Are you married? Who knows him? Does he have a friend? Come, come. Put it all. No, there is no game inside though. Pastor Shola is not that type. Come. Do you know him? Who is he to you? For 15 years. Mm -hmm. And it is true that he can't hear yes, out of that every right time ear. I want to talk to him, I have to move to the other side of the ear. I can't help. All right. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk. Jeez! Somebody shout! You know, when we are doing testimonies, you know what God is doing? He's healing more people. I saw something here. An abdominal condition for somebody. It just vanished. Sister, sister, ask your faith. Just, just run, run. Just run. Run, 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 run. Hey! Run back again, run back again, run again, run again. That's how to take it. It's action. Oga, is it the same story like that one? You are doubting the thing. Come and stand near me here. So, how long has it been? When you see God, what God did for A, He will do for B. I saw the man doing, <laughs> but you know Jesus loves you. What's your name, sir? Michael. Huh? Eh? Michael. Michael. Okay, Michael. This is the ear that wasn't working. Yes, sir. The right one. Yes, sir. Alright, block the one that was working. Alright. Uh, off my mic. You repeat to this mic. Jesus. 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 One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Somebody say! Please. Hey! How old are you? 25. And this has been all your life. The devil is a liar. If you are Kista Christo Kribara Baba, if you are fighting anything that has been a lifelong issue, I want you to just lift your hand with me now. Asthma, epilepsy. Father, whatever it is, you are the one that did for Michael. And what was the other guy's name? The other guy with the... Lord, behold your people. By the gift of faith, I proclaim your total deliverance in the name of Jesus. Schizophrenia is what I'm hearing. I bind that spirit 
I command it to come out of you in the name of Jesus. Malakatasa kaliko to seketoria radose kabadadada. Father, let your fire come down now in the name of Jesus. Just wave those hands and thank him. Take your seat, young man. Yeah, 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 yeah. If they can't stand, just put them on the floor. I wish I could take more, but we need to do something else. Who is really itching bad? You really want to talk? Are you sure? Okay. One, two, three, four. Yeah, come, come quickly. Five. Oga, okay. you have assignment. This five, and then we're done. Uh, anywhere you climb, you can climb from there. The others will have to. Oh, yeah, come quickly. Come, let's take our seat. Come, every other person, go and sit down. Come. The next thing is Holy Ghost. Pastor said it's a holiday tomorrow. If you are not baptized in the Holy Ghost with the evidence of tongues, huh? or you just need a touch of the Holy Ghost, we're going to pray for that. And then I'm done. All right, thank you. Okay, space yourself out some. Praise God. Space yourself out some. I used to have chest pain. Yes, sir. For Very how long? severe. It has been on for like two years now. Hmm. I didn't know how it came. I was just driving to work one morning. So, and just came and I have to go back home. But before you even started ministering at all, I felt it. Praise God. And everything dissolved. Since then, I've been trying to practice the faith and it is not there. <laughs> Glory to Jesus. You see, let's learn something from that. When I came up today, if I didn't want to preach, we wouldn't preach. But we preach because not everybody's at the same level of faith. We try to bring others up as well. And beside that, the word of God should always come first because we are not doing a show. All right. Praise the Lord. So for almost a year, I've been having partial headache. Yeah, the one head. with the half head. Yes, sir. And I was actually having it on my seat. And Sorry, I was, half headache. Oh. Yes, That's what I, meant. <laughs> I was actually praying on my seat that God should just lay it in your heart to mention it. And I was actually having the pain right there. And immediately you mentioned it, the pain stopped. And I... Jesus! Praise the Lord. Pastor talked about transgenerational costs. And it's been so, so pathetic in my family, honestly. From my daddy's side, even my mom lost her life due to this cause. And it's been running and running and running like that. In fact, they've used my eyes to see my boo. It has just been God all the way. So as Pastor talked about the transgenerational cause, I said, Amen, Lord, I received. Then later, I began to feel like I wanted to vomit. Then... I, it was so serious. Then later I was saying, peace, 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 Lord, peace. And the peace of God just dropped in my heart. And I know that, yes, he has It's all done, done in Jesus' name. Yes, sister. Praise the Lord. Actually, um, yesterday after morning session, I went to see a doctor. I've been having a very bad headache, half of my head. It was so bad that they gave me two referral letters yesterday to see an ENT surgeon and an eye doctor. So while I was in, the, in service this morning session, I got a call from one of the hospitals scheduling, scheduling me for an, an appointment for tomorrow. So, and this evening, the headache was so bad that I couldn't even want, I didn't want to come to church. But because when I came in the morning, Pastor Shola said, if you wanted to come back in the evening, you can leave something on your chair to, to save your chair. So if not for that chair, I wouldn't have come because it was so bad. <laughs> And uh, my housekeeper was telling me, Mommy, just stay now. You have been going through too much trouble. Every morning, every just stay. Just rest. That's why you're having this very bad. It was so bad. I almost didn't come from But for that chair that... Seeing close to me, I've noticed things that I've been covering this ear to just to check. And covering this now, I can hear myself. I can hear... All right, come this way. Come this way. Cover it well. Jesus. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Six. six seven. Eight. Nine. And 
Just wait a minute. So next time the devil tells you that God doesn't love, to love you, just tell the devil that God loves you so much and he opened your ears. Write it in your diary and say, God loves me so much, he opened my ears. All of you that testify, that is something. That was an encounter. God touched me. You can always point it back. The mercies of God. Give a lot of shout, somebody. Praise the Lord. In 2013, I was diagnosed of a fertility issue. Mm -hmm. And I've been on fertility drugs for mm -hmm. a while. And um, it runs in the family also. So when you mentioned it about um, fertility issues somewhere around there, mm -hmm. I felt a warm sensation mm -hmm. right there. And I knew that, yes, God touched me. Are you married? No, sir. Huh? No, sir. Okay. When, when you get married, Father, I call for the man in Jesus' name. Yeah. Go and sit down. I will have said next year I want to dedicate baby. But since you are, we can't dedicate anything now. So, Father, husband, in Jesus' name. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. While you were praying, not too long ago, I've been standing in gap for someone. I've been using myself as a point of you contact. You are standing for someone? Yes, sir. Okay. I've been praying all through this conference. I've been praying for him. He's very dear to me. This condition you mentioned, you mentioned schizophrenia. Yes, yes, yes. It's yes. a psychiatric condition. Yes. It has cost him everything. Mm. I don't want to mention who he is to me no, because we are on video. There's no need to. It this. has cost him everything, sir. It has cost him schooling. It has cost him everything. It is practically like someone who is existing without existing. It has cost him to drop out, drop out of university. It has cost him loss of family trust. He's just there. I've been praying. It has been a sorrow and it has been a lifelong thing. Just lift your hand and this thank God. Picture, sir. It's done in Jesus' name. You mentioned it. I it. call it so. I call it done in Jesus' name. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's take this one more person. Praise God. Mm. My, my case was itching. I've been itching very badly. Itching. Skin itch. Inside. Yes, I, I can't explain it. From my hair to the sole of my feet. Mm. This started in August last year. Mm. I did some travels. I can't place it. I don't know if it's food. I don't know if it's environment. Dermatologists can't even help me. I'm talking about... I'm, I've been placed on different um, antihistamines. Nothing is working. Mm. I have someone in the church presently that can testify to it this afternoon. Once I pull off my clothes, I start. I can't explain it. I mean, I've been praying. I've been trusting God. As you, believe, as you let out these declarations, I believed in my heart. And when you said itching, I just said, God, God. It's done. Thank you. Give him praise, somebody. <laughs> Glory to God. Lord, we thank you for your faithfulness. Hallelujah. Hmm. Okay. If you are not baptized in the Holy Ghost, if you are one of those that raised your hand to give your life to Christ earlier, will you please stand up one more time? You prayed that sinner's prayer with me earlier today. Please stand up one more time. I'd like you to come forward. Just come and stand now. If you prayed that sinner's prayer or a dedication prayer with me, come and stand. Now, if you are here, you don't pray in tongues to make it simple. Space yourself as much as possible. Don't be crowded. If you don't pray in tongues, or you used to pray before, 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 please come forward. I want to pray with you. You don't pray in tongues, or you used to pray before, before, somehow it has kind of just come. We're going to do a bit more prophetic ministry tomorrow morning, if time allows us. So, you may want to, if you need that type of ministry, you may want to be available for that. Right? Can keep, and then you can extend all that way. Extend all that way. Thank you, Daddy. Yes, they can stand all that way. 
All right. Uh, I'm not going to touch you, but God is going to baptize you. Then if you are just somebody that wants to say, Lord, you won't come forward. You will just get into the aisle or stand where you are. You're just saying, God, I just need to... Ah, okay. Bear with me. It will lift. You just need more of God or more of God. Just get into the aisle or stand instead of sitting, but don't come to the front so it's not crowded. You either get into the aisle or just stand on your seat. If you find that you cannot stand, sit down, kneel down, we don't have enough people to catch anybody. So, you know, if you are getting your legs are wobbly, kneel down or sit on the floor. You understand what I'm saying? All right. So, good. My friends, the Bible says that on the day of Pentecost, they were filled with the Holy Ghost. And they began to speak in tongues as the Spirit gave them what to say. Amen. When we pray for you now, the Holy Ghost will give you new sounds. It's not something you learn somewhere. But the Bible says that when we pray in tongues, 1 Corinthians 14, verse 2 and verse 14, that um, our understanding is unfruitful. We are not talking from our head. We are talking from our hearts. You know, little babies make noises. We don't know what they are saying, but God can hear them. So you're going to be like a little baby. I'm a Baptist race. I was raised in the Baptist church. We didn't even know my generation. We didn't know anything about Holy Ghost, tongues, or anything. I just prayed at home, and God gave me the Holy Ghost in a very powerful way. So it's a blessing that somebody can even lead you. Now, you cannot speak two languages at once, so you're going to stop the... Whatever you pray English, whatever, God will give you new sounds. Amen? Just like babies, you know, God will give you new sounds, and it's straight from heaven. And the Holy Ghost is a gift for a lifetime. Amen? So everybody pray with me. Say, Heavenly Father, I confess Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I have come now to receive the baptism in the Holy Spirit with evidence of praying in tongues. I receive him now, and I pray with tongues now. Thank you, Lord. I am filled with the Holy Ghost, and I speak with tongues now. Now, taking a deep breath, when you open your mouth, make the new sounds. Everybody who prays in tongues, let's go. One, two, three. Ah. Shara kata ba 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 kori antala la la boko sete yanda reka bo 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 open your mouth eskari antala la la bo satari antala la la bo sa reka ta 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 open your mouth and make the sounds open your mouth and make the sounds open your mouth and make the sounds ira kata la 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 bo sekete yanda jeria tataria jevra kala bo se Cristo e karamano se Cristoria Jevra da 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 Reka ba 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 Lauda 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 Ibarra katata ra ba 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 Reke te 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 Lauda 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 let it flow let it flow let it flow let it flow Shiri andara ra ra ba ka sandi andara ra ba Let it flow let it flow let it flow Open your mouth it's there let it flow Ira ka ba 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 Open your mouth let it flow Jere te 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 ra ba 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 Rekamba ra ba 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 Santa ri anda ra da 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 bo seketia Lauda 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 Rebo rege re 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 bo se Ire ke re le bo Santa ri anda re 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 bo ko se te Ire re 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 bo se te re 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 Ire re bo ko re 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 Let the flow re ke ta ri anda re 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 bo se ke te Let the flow let the flow re re That's it let the flow let the flow re ke te te re ba ka ta 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 louder louder put your voice in it louder louder let it flow let it flow let it flow jevana jevana let it flow zivikiriando zivikiriando le cristavaye let it flow let it flow let it flow 
Let it flow. 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 Jevanana Christoria is creando la pravaze. Let it flow. Let it flow. Let it flow. Louder, louder. Let it flow. Esanderia esivrate mahushe ketele le perete le perete le perete le perete. Jehovah Shavarala eratale 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 ma ikate ma ikate asaito. Marate, Esamade, Alitete, Ekototo, Esatete, Ikaye, Evovovo, Eshosho, la 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 Tata ra ba 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 ba, rebo ro bo 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 bo, rebo ro bo 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 bo, rebo ro bo 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 bo, rebo ro bo 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 bo. In the name of Jesus. Now open your eyes and look at me. You are making some sounds you didn't understand. I want you to lift your hand and just wave it to Jesus. Just wave it. That's a hundred percent right there. Wave it to Jesus. Wave that hand to Jesus. Now just lift those hands up. Taking a deep breath again. Let's begin to pray. Let it come. Let it come. Ah, shanda rakabaria kababa baba ba le karianta la la Let it flow. Let it flow. It's inside of you. Make the new sounds. 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 Reke rete reke rete reke rete. Jera kalala la ya. Sita ta 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 ita ta 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 ta. Jehovah la brasa ta ito lo bosete. Hallelujah. Marakata masisi. In Jesus' mighty name. Now I want you to stand or kneel if you just need a touch of God that is a fresh one. Anybody in the congregation stand kneel, but there must be an action on your part. You have to change your position. If you are sitting, you stand. If you are, just show God that you need something. You show God you need something. God is a show me God. Show him you need something. You want to lie on your face. Somebody help me with that lady. Help me with that lady. Help me with that lady. That's why some of you need to just kneel. Just kneel. Just kneel if you can. Kneel if you can. Let's have many people kneel. 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 We don't have people to catch. Just kneel. Just kneel. I'm going to begin to pray and the power of God will begin to surge. The power of God will begin to surge. So kneel down. Don't, so you don't, you know, just kneel down. Daddy, we are desperate. Daddy, I need more of you. Daddy, we need more of you. We need more of a Holy Ghost in our life. We need more of you. Your people, we are crying out in this hour. Oh, for a fresh, for fresh oil, fresh oil, fresh oil, fresh oil, fresh fire, fresh fire. Hey, ta 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 ta. We give up anything and everything that stands between us and you right now. Lord, we lay it down. I ask you for fresh fire and fresh oil upon your people. Create a burning passion. Oh, like the one they had when they first came to you. Create a fresh fire. Holy Ghost, fall upon your people everywhere. You are the God of all flesh. There's nothing too hard. If you cannot stand, just kneel. If you cannot stand, just kneel. In the name of Jesus. Come Holy Spirit. Let him hear you. Let him hear you. Tell him to fall upon you in a fresh way. Oh, lekere ta 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 ta. Say, Lord, fall upon me in a fresh way. Lord, fall upon me in a fresh way. Yeah, yeah. In a fresh way, Lord. In a fresh way, Lord. 
in a fresh way, Lord. We need you. We need you in this hour. In a way we've never needed you. We need you, Lord. We need a freshness of you. Let us be continually filled, drunk in the Holy Ghost, 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 drunk in the Holy Ghost. Father, 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 fill these vessels, give them an encounter. Give them an encounter. Give them a heavenly encounter. Change their story. Change their destiny. Change their destiny. Some have cried for babies. Some have cried for marriage. It's become an idol in their life. Father, give them that miracle. But let them worship you alone today. Lord, fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh desire for you. Fresh desire for you, Lord. Come, Holy Ghost. Come, Holy Ghost. Come, Holy Ghost. Shara ta 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 ta. I hear this word in the spirit. He said, I have forgiven her, but she keeps bringing it up. God said, stop bringing that mistake up because he doesn't even remember it. So don't pray that problem again. Don't pray that mistake again. Just say, Lord, I receive a freshness of your spirit in my life. I receive a freshness. He said, I have not left you. Your feelings are lying to you. I have not left you. He said, I have, I have forgiven, but she keeps bringing it up. She keeps bringing it up. If that's for you, you take it. Lord, come upon your people in a supernatural way. Come upon your people in a supernatural way. Open their eyes in the spirit. Let them see your glory and your presence. Uh, give them a spirit travel. Let them see into the realm of a supernatural Lord. Set our hearts on fire again, O oh God. Set our hearts on fire again, O oh God. Let your presence become our oxygen. Let your presence become our oxygen. Let your presence become our oxygen. Let your glory become the pursuit of this house. Let your glory become the pursuit of this house. Do something you only can do in my life. Do something only you can do in my life. Yeah. Hey! Cry out to God. Cry out to God tonight. You know what you need from His presence. But I can tell you, I treasure His presence more than every name, every title, more than any silver or gold. There is the manifest presence of God. We kakalibo sesetaya. God wants to manifest himself to you in your closet. He wants to manifest himself to you in your car. He wants to manifest himself to you in your kitchen. This is the day for the manifestation of the sons of God. Are you desperate to say, God, I want to feel you. I want to know you. I want to go to a deeper level. It's time you say it yourself. It's time you cry out. Lord, I'm crying out for you. Oh, I'm crying out to you for another dimension of your glory in my life. I'm crying out to you for another dimension of glory. Baba, irakatatata, Abba, Father. Some of you should start calling the name of your children right now and say, Lord, I'm crying to you for another dimension of your glory in the life of my children, in the life of your loved ones. You can cry out, listen, heaven is open. Heaven is open. Heaven is open. Heaven is open. There's somebody, I don't know if you are here, but you had, you had a child, uh, is it a biku or whatever they call it? It will not happen again. There will be no miscarriage again. You have had the very last one in your life. When the glory shows up, demons disappear. Demons run. The presence is here. Nikali kata ta 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 libaha. Cry out to him. More of your glory. More of your presence. More of your glory. In my life, more of your presence. 
I want the manifest presence of God in a deeper dimension in my daily walk with you. Oh Lord, I cry out to you for more, more of your presence. My soul longs after you in a dry and thirsty place. You are the hub of my life. You are the reason that I live. Cry out to God. There has to be more to this life than a few cars, than a few houses, than a few material things. There has to be more to your life than that. And the Bacaliba, Moses said, I will not go if your presence presence does not go. I know he is living in you, but the closer you get to him, he can become more manifest in your life. Cry and say, God, I'm open. Have your way. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. There comes a new glory in this church. There comes a new impartation. There comes a new glory upon the servants of God. I could see the Holy Ghost. I don't know if you understand this language. L lingering in the place. People just come in, like in our church, people just come in and he's there. Don't know how to explain it, but he will start to linger in the place. And without the touch of a hand, people will meet God on their own. Yes, I live in you. Hmm. But there are portal moments and portal places. This is a portal moment for you. This is a portal moment for you. Portal, because when the portal was open, Jacob saw the angels moving. God said, I have created a portal. It must be guarded. Guarded jealously. Men will meet me here. And the Lord is saying to his servants, so there will come a new dimension of revelation. The opening of the eyes of the heart to see. It must be guarded. It must be guarded. Delay is not denial. So now I'm walking on both sides. And I'll grant you speed on this matter. A lot of women have been touched by God. Things the doctor said was there. God is removing them. I see angels removing things from people's bodies. Things from the womb. I see angels. Some of the things look like rags. Some of the things look like wool. Some of them look like tread. But angels are working on you. Just lie flat there. Don't run away. Just lie flat and say, God, finish your operation. 
There will be shh. 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 Who is this? Raise your head. Who is this? Who is this? Raise your head. Raise your head. Raise your head. Raise your head. God is removing things. God is removing things. God is removing things. God is removing things. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> 